outfit the cool kid because the cool kid is pretty much a trendsetter their clothes are really sporty yet edgy and it's not so much what they wear it's how they put it together and the personality of the outfit or other words swag for this outfit I decided to pair these high-waisted faux leather shorts with this hot nights tee that I tied in the front in my signature way as for footwear, I opted for a pair of wedge sneakers because they're super comfortable and super sporty. The AC was always on blast when I was in high school, so layers are super important. Thus, the maxi cardigan. Now, for those of you who aren't comfortable wearing shorts or they violate your school's dress code, you can always substitute the shorts for a pair of leather skinnies or joggers. So tell me, are you a cool kid? outfit the school girl because it's a play on school uniforms the school girl is conservative cute yet well put together on a scale from one to five when it comes to taking risks they're probably like a 1.5 they totally play it safe for this outfit I decided to play on school uniforms specifically the plaid when it comes to stripes and plaid they can go together but one has to be subtle and in this case the stripe button down is to neutralize this outfit I wore a pair of brown booties and to separate the prints I threw on a thin woven brown belt. So tell me, are you a schoolgirl? I entitled this look the Vagabond because Vagabonds are very carefree. They wear clothes simply out of comfort and versatility and they just so happen to be fashionable which makes their style effortless. The Vagabond is a free spirit and rarely ever cares what people think about them. This outfit is all about comfort and being able to handle whatever life may throw at you. To master this look you must aesthetically abandon all fashion rules and do what truly makes you happy. Being able to mix prints, textures, and season is key into mastering this look. You never know what elements you may face. These printed pants are super comfy and versatile. When you tuck a shirt into them, you can make them high-waisted and balance the proportions, making your legs appear longer. This is hands down my favorite outfit out of the bunch. I'm such a vagabond. Are you? Minimalist is all about simplicity and structure. She rarely wears prints or bright colors. She takes risks only when they are within her style parameters. White, black, blue, and gray are her go-to colors. The minimalist style usually reflects her personality. Quiet, reserved, and pleasant. For this outfit, I wanted to give Minimalist with a sporty feel. So I did an all-white outfit from head to toe and I threw on a jean shirt to set off the monotony a bit. For those of you who are a daring minimalist, you can substitute the white pants for a pair of jean shorts and a pair of neutral footwear. I chose a pair of gray peep toe booties. To master this look, you must first stick to the basics, avoid prints and loud colors, and lastly, keep it simple. So tell me, are you a minimalist? So the senior represents not just classier but maturity level as well. She's less sporty and more chic. The senior is a leader amongst her peers and oftentimes she's involved in many clubs and organizations. She's super focused on her future and she dresses the part. She sees life as a stage and she can't wait to perform. To master this look, you must first abandon sneakers and all sporty attire. Opt for a more business casual yet chic wardrobe. Button downs, tunics, blazers, skinny jeans, and booties are your best friends. 
For this look, I took a long oversized button down and cinched it with a skinny belt, making the silhouette more appealing. Everything is neutral and works well together. So tell me, are you a senior? Last but not least, we have the class president. If the senior and the schoolgirl had a baby, it would totally be the class president. <laughs> she represents the overachiever. She's super involved and devoted into bringing the best out of people. The class president is a social butterfly and her personality lights up a room and she will argue you down to the ground. <laughs> she keeps it cute, simple, yet very comfortable. Her go-to item in her closet is of course a cardigan. And Oxford's. For this look, I played with prints, but I still kept it neutral. I threw on a navy blue and cream cardigan to add some personality and to offset the browns and tans a bit. It also kind of prints blocks with the top as well. Um, to master this look, you want to stay in the same color zone and use a few pops of colors to complement your outfit. So tell me, are you the class president? So that pretty much wraps up this lookbook. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you were inspired. I had so much fun doing this it was a bit nostalgic it took me back to my high school days i you know i just loved getting dressed it was such a fashion show the first week of school um at the end of the day it's all about being inspired having fun enjoying your youth it's not that serious it's really not um don't allow any social issues or dress codes to restrict you from you know truly letting your personality shine yeah definitely stay tuned for future videos um stay tuned for my lookbook for college back to school as well um, comment down below let me know what outfit was your favorite who are you are you the class president the minimalist the senior the school girl the cool kid or the vagabond and you guys know the deal until next time peace and dopeness